Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Face of Strategist and in this video I'll be showing you a walkthrough on how to get all of the vending machine codes in Fallout New Vegas Dead Money DLC. Now for the first one, two, three, four, for the first four we're gonna be heading to the Villa Police Station. In any case, in order to get there, you're gonna need to take a good look at Vera and you're gonna have to head to the right here, I believe. No, to the left. So we're just gonna head to the left here and instead of going right to the clinic, we'll be continuing straight forward. And let's just keep going, keep going. And the police station should be right on over here. No, that's Puesta de Sol. So we're just going to go right on over here. More dead assholes. In any case, go up here. There is a hologram right there. I activated that. In any case, go right here. And you're gonna go to that badge looking thing. That's where we need to go. Now, there will be timestamps in the description, so you can actually take a good look at what's where and what exactly you need or are missing. In any case, for the first one, for the steady, you're just gonna head right as you enter. That's the first one. Now, from the steady, you're gonna head to the left here. This requires a key. So, if you can hack a hard terminal... Oh, there we go, on the second try. Fuck yeah. You can disengage it. Open it up. And in here, if you take a good look, there will be plenty of loot. And to the right here is the 357 Magnum. And here is a weapon and some whiskey. And that's it for this room. Okay, for the last two that are located in the police station, from the entrance you're gonna head to the right and you're gonna go into the men's restroom, which should... Be, no, this is the changing room. Where's the men... Ah, there we go, it's this one. Open it up and it should be somewhere around here. Ah, there it is, I was standing on it. That's the 308 rounds, uh, which are pretty useful. In any case, for the last one, you're gonna go right here, then to the right, and it's located right on up here, the weapon repair kit. This is also useful. In any case, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, after the clinic for the next two, we're, uh, after the police station for the next two, we'll be heading back to the clinic. So from the police station, we'll just be going over here. Uh, in any case, it's important to actually gather all of this. Well, it's not important, but it's nice to actually have all of these vending codes because there's a pretty easy way of actually making money, Sierra Mother Chips, but just returning cigarettes. And you have uh, uh, one of these uh, vending machines at uh, the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. And as you travel along and you collect cigarettes and whatnot, you can actually turn them in and get a bunch of Sierra Mother trips, which you can then convert into ammo, grenades, or even stims, you know. So in any case, uh, from here we're just gonna head to the right, and we're just going to make our way over to the clinic. In any case, the clinic is to the left, perfect. And we're just going to go ahead and go inside the clinic. In any case, as soon as you enter the clinic, on the desk will be a vending machine code for the stim pack. Okay, for the next one, you're actually going to want to take the stairs to the second floor. And on the second floor, there is a terminal from which you can actually use it to get things. But in any case, if you go from the entrance here to the right, you'll get the mentats. Okay, after you get the mentats, you're gonna head right on over here. There's a doctor's bag, which is nice. We're just going to activate this terminal. Dispenser codes. Codes for the sensor right today. 
Okay, we can make sure to download dispenser code MEDEX. And I believe that's about it. Yeah, we got the stink pack, we got the MEDEX, and we got the MEDEX. Okay, in any case, for the return close one, what you're gonna want to do is just check out old ruined buildings. And uh, cash registers in particular, because that's the only way of getting it, and chances are good that you're going to get them. Then I guess, yeah, like, go up here, go into the cash register, nothing. And we're just going to go upstairs. But well, that's a hard lock right there. I wonder what that's about. Nothing. Get over here. Check this. Nothing. Uh, on the table here, nothing. But okay, nothing there. Let's see if this building will uh, actually give me something more. No, I just got a card. Okay, and some food. If I go over here some right away, let's head upstairs. Just keep an eye out and you should find it eventually. And that's uh, regarding that one, but for the next three we'll actually be heading towards the casino. Nothing there, perhaps in this one. No? Why won't you give me what I want? I'll find it eventually. Okay, so I just opened this up and I got the return off at code. So just check the cash registers and you'll find it. Sooner or later you'll find it. Okay, now from Vera's behind, you're gonna want to head straight forward into the casino. Once again, I'm doing this all after I completed all of the main quests. So I don't have to worry about the beeping, the tipping, and the faka faka laka laka, if you know what I mean. In any case, you're gonna head right here to the casino, open this shit up, head straight forward, then you're gonna head to the left, then to the left again, and you're gonna go here, and you're actually going to go behind this counter, and there should be, well, I'll actually take that, thank you very much. There we go, there's the one for wine. Okay, the next one that is located near here is actually behind this door. You're gonna head to the right and you're gonna keep heading forward, then go right again. And you actually want to head to the left, then to the right. This is locked with a very easy lock. And I will be able to get some vodka. Let's get another cosmic knife, because why the fuck not? And what's in this suitcase? Hmm? Bunch of shit. Okay, now for the next one, what you're gonna want to do is head right on up here to the third floor, and we're just gonna head right in here to the security office, and here it is. Now you can actually get some scotch as well. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna have to head to Salida del Sol. Then from the Salida del Sol, after you enter, we're gonna have to head right on over to the switching station. Which is basically to the right where you drop a dog off. So you guys just keep heading this way. Then... Uh, hold on. Then yeah, you go up here. Then, well, let me check local map. Well, uh, yeah, we should be right around here then. And to the left, and here we are at the switching station. And it should be on one of these ventilation shafts. Okay, so you're gonna go right here to the center, then you're gonna go to the right. And there we go, Bear Trap is Heavy Duty Springs. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna have to make our way to Salida del Sol North. And that this is the last path that I will actually show you. After that, I will just say Salida del Sol North, and you should know where to go. 
any case go through this uh, poisonous tunnel and you're gonna head to the left then to the right then you're gonna head towards the town square as you can see but instead you're gonna head to the right here through another poisonous cloud then you're gonna head this way and you're gonna go to the left and you're gonna wind up right here to the Salida del Sol house and that will lead you to Salida del Sol north okay after you enter the house you're gonna head right down here you're gonna go towards the right here and you're just gonna keep heading right and you're going to enter this house then head right and on the floor all oh, right it's at the bottom floor hold on kabam right over here is the right away now we're actually just going to go back okay after you get the right away one uh, you're gonna go back to this little junction here to where you actually started from and where this is and then you're gonna head to the left here and you're gonna head to the right you're gonna go up these stairs and once you're here what you're gonna want to do is actually go up another flight of stairs then you're gonna go up another flight of stairs then another and you're gonna head to the right you're gonna go here and you're gonna get the red X one now from here from the rooftops what you're gonna want to do is jump down here uh, watch out for that you're just gonna head down here then what you're gonna want to do is just head up these stairs we're basically going to where we trigger the gala you should already know that location so just take the stairs back up here to this bunk then from here we're just gonna head to the left uh, yeah to the right to the right then to the left and now that we're up here we're just going to go hmm, right on over here and we should be getting up to the bell tower and here is the hologram rifle focusing lens and the super stim pack okay for the rest of them you're gonna have to head to Puesta de Sol north and south and in any case just head to the left from Viraki's titties and you're gonna go through this gate right here Puesta de Sol north Okay, for the first one, you're gonna have to head to the service route. That's the first one we're going to actually visit. In order to visit the service route, as you can see, just open this out. I think this usually requires a key or something. But in any case, yeah, that requires a key. You're gonna go to this terminal right here, special orders. Do you need the demolition? I don't even know even more. You can use this in the vending machines. There we go. You got the code. So if you go from that direction, it will be unlocked for some reason. If you try to go here, I can go. Perhaps it got unlocked when I actually beat the game. That is the DLC. In any case, awesome. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the switching station from here. You can use console commands to unlock it or... I don't know how I got the key in all honesty. I think it actually unlocks uh, once you switch this thing at the switching station. Yeah, I think that's how it unlocks. Because I already did this, I restored power, I sucked out all of the gas. In any case, the next one is located right on over here. It's at the very end near the elevator. So me being the ch cheater hacker man I am, I'm just going to go over here. If you already did the quest, this should be really easy for you. You can just waltz in and get what you need. In any case, go through here, then through here, and it should be right on over here near the elevator. 
Okay. Yeah, I think it's right here. Hologram rifle reinforced components. Okay, from the switching station, you're gonna want to head down here. And we're basically heading towards Puesta de Sol South. So we're just going to continue going this way. Then we're gonna head to the left. And here we go. The last three are located right on over here. The first one is located in this cafe here. Right as you enter it. Okay, from the entrance here, you're gonna head right on up here. Uh, it's not Buffett. I don't think I even said it was Buffett. In any case, you're going to exit through the southernmost part of uh, this. Then you're going to follow this roof thing here. And we're just gonna head over here. And this way. Then up here. And it should be, yeah, right here. Hologram Rifle Advanced Calibration. And uh, some microfusion cells, which is a nice. Okay, for the next one, from the entrance of the cafe, you're gonna look at him, then you're gonna exit out of here. We came from here. Remember that. Then we're just gonna head over here. Then you're gonna head to the left. And you're gonna go here. And here it is, Buffett. Okay, now for the last one, we'll be heading all the way, uh, all the way over here, I believe. Then Domino was at one of these buildings. If I remember correctly, it should be this one right here. In any case, we're gonna go past hologram number two. We're just going to go all the way up. You can hear the cables buzzing. Buzz, 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 buzz. And here it is. Uh, this is where you lived in Domino during the quest. And there should be all 20 codes. I'm just going to count them up real quick. Yep, that's all of them. All of them. In any case, make sure you subscribe. And I'll say that because I finished that money. And I hate that money.